hi guys i'm back with another mani so azure beauty sent me over this dip powder kit it's uh eight pieces plus an additional four pieces so it comes with eight dip powders and four additional items so thank you to azure beauty for sending me this um package of dip powders they out they sent two but this video features one of the two i'll do another one with the second uh package and so i'm just opening this package here and this kit can be found on amazon at an affordable price and so i'm just taking my sweet time couldn't get it open didn't want to tear my nails up and so i was surprised that it came with um swatch sticks so it came with two uh, uh replacement brushes two cuticle pushers and a file i think this is a 100 and 180 grit file and so it came with that it came with swatch sticks again that was a, a surprise for me it comes with a color difference card that tells you uh, what it will look like with one two or three coats of color it comes with an af after service card as well those always come in the kit along with instructions a nail brush a buffer a disposable dip tray it comes with uh, four liquids plus a matte top coat. It comes with base, activator, top gel, and matte top coat and four colors. And of course, it comes with the instructions as well. With the instructions, it tells you what to do uh, to apply the dip powder to your natural nails or if you're applying the dip powder using artificial nails. And so, um, yeah and so this kit is uh, as I mentioned on Amazon it retails for $19.99 and here are the colors again I didn't swatch anything for time purposes and so I did remove my builder gel I did I have a crack in my nail um, a split actually in my uh, index finger and so it says wash your hands which I did that earlier in the day um, and it says push back your cuticles and remove the shine from your nail and so that's what I am going to do here. And so I'm, um, since I did wash my hands earlier because I removed my builder gel and I have a video coming out with how I did that. I think there's a little small, a thin, thin layer left on my nails. And so I'm just going in with the alcohol pad and removing any um, oils and things like that from my nail. I'm going to go in with the cuticle stick that came in the kit. Um, because it does have about 95% of what you need to do a dip powder mani. And so this video is sped up so it looks more aggressive. It's not. I am gently pushing back my cuticles because I do not want to tear my skin up. You want to avoid that at all cost. And so once I do that, I'm going in with the nail file that came in the kit. One side you'll see is a little bit rougher. And you can see one side has a, a bigger grit and the other side has a finer get, grit. And so I'm going to go in with the side of the file that has a finer grit and I will be um, removing the shine from my nail.
Now y'all, it looks aggressive, but it's not, I promise you. And so when I mentioned that I washed my hands earlier, I just, uh, prior to this, recorded a video um, using a product to remove my builder gel. And so after I did that, I did go and wash my hands. And so this is immediately after. I don't want y'all think I just wash my hands one time a day and keep it moving, right? So after I get, um, just remove the shine. I mean, I did the uh, removing the shine with the lightest touch possible of that nail file. I'm going in with the brush that came in the kit and I'm removing the dust from my nails. And so I knew I had to repair the split on my index finger. So I'm going in and you can see it's kind of lifted just a little bit. I'm going in with these nail fibers. I think I got these off of Shein and I'm cutting a small piece of that off and I'm going to use the dip base because it's essentially a glue and I'm going to apply that to the crack in my nail and then um, I'm going to use that uh, apply that and then I noticed it wasn't drying and so I did uh, dip my finger in as your beauty's clear that I did purchase with my own money it's a good clear and so what happened with this is since I did clear it did leave a little bulk bulk on my index finger and so you'll i don't know if you it'll pick up on camera but i do have a um kind of a slight ledge or dip in my uh dip powder application uh, once i finished and so i'm just cutting that as small as possible to put on the nail and it's real fine you can't even you can hardly see it um and i've used that before you can use a tea bag um because it's not if i were to cut the nail it would be down to my meat and ain't nobody got time for that and so i'm applying the, the base and then i'm going to apply this nail fiber to the nail and it was just sliding around sliding around sliding around and i was like um what are we doing? I should have just used some nail glue and kept it moving, but again, the base is a glue itself. And so, after I applied that, I should have applied the, the uh, base to my entire nail. Um, and then did my whole nail in clear, which I end up doing, but off camera for time purposes. And so I'm just pressing that down again, giving that time to dry. But again, I should have realized since this was dip base, I needed something to soak it up in order for it to dry appropriately. And I know some people put a layer of base down before they start their application. Some people do that and let that dry. And so here's where I did the clear. It was still a little wet and, um, and again as your beauty's clear good clear and so i just brush off excess and i do another layer of that on my nail and then i proceed with the application so here it is again it's a little bump on the nail i decided to use the gray in the kit along with the white shimmer and so i end up applying um three coats of color and per the instructions it did state not to apply more than three layers and so you'll see um, again I didn't have any problems the liquids are fine they are regular dip liquids so I do have my respirator on to avoid getting dip flu and so since I haven't polish my natural nails in a long time because I always have builder gel on and I do plan on going back in uh, with my builder gel overlay um, I, and I don't have on pill off face coat. So I wanna see how this dip powder lasts on my nails. So we'll see. I don't know if I'll end up um, taking it off early or not, cause I do get tired of looking at the same uh, color on my nails. And so that's one thing I do like about builder gel and pill off face coat. Okay, so back to the subject at hand. With uh, these liquids, they work fine. They work fine. Again, if you suffer from dip flu, you will need to wear a respirator because these are not low odor dip liquids and so after I get that second coat um, not the second coat the first coat on the nails I did uh, brushed off the ring finger too early because it was still a little wet um, I'm going in and applying a second coat of color to both of those nails and you want to apply that dip base in thin layers if possible or thin as possible and I am wiping my brush off on a paper towel that I have over to the left before I place it back into the bottle the instructions don't tell you to do that but I know that's what you need to do that's what works because you don't want to contaminate your dip base liquid and so you can see the first coat of color is real translucent the second color uh, coat brings out the color more and the third coat will make it even darker
and you can see some people will dip their finger in like at a 45 degree angle me personally I just like to lay my finger flat and you can see even with three coats of color the nails are not bulky again I'm doing this over my natural nails um, they're not bulky at all and so I'm brushing off excess dip powder and since I'm using a dip powder color next that has shimmer uh, or glitter in it I'm going to activate the two solid color nails because I don't want any of that shimmer or glitter to stick to that dip powder color and I have a hard time opening those bottles they're really tiny um, my opinion and I have a hard time gripping so they do take a minute to open for me and so that's why I say keep your rubber band around a two or three so that you can use that they make good little grippers on nail polish bottles and so i activated those two nails and then i'm going in with the white shimmer now let me tell y'all something i could have did my whole hand in this white shimmer it was so pretty but shimmer was everywhere like it was floating in the air and of course it probably won't pick up on camera and so i do apply only two coats of this color to my um uh, pointer finger my index finger my thumbnail and my pinky nail I think I only show one nail on the camera again um it, they, it applied well no problems at all um since this is like a shimmer I did not encapsulate in clear you can if you want to but there was not a need and so I apply two coats of that and then I go in and activate uh the nails And y'all see how pretty that shimmer is. And so I just lightly uh, brushed off excess dip powder. I'm going in with the second coat of that shimmer color. I can see this color with maybe some snowflakes on top, um, whether it's uh, transfer foil or nail stickers or nail stamp. Very, very pretty. Um, and so again, once I, I mean, I'm just using the orange wood st stick that came in the kit to clean up the cuticle area if needed. I didn't have to do a lot of cuticle clean clean up which I was uh, pleased about that um, and so once I get that on all nails I'm brushing off excess thumb everything um, I don't need to reactivate the two gray nails they're already activated and hardened and so the instructions say apply activator and wait 60 seconds me personally um, when I apply activator since I'm not using pull off base coat I am capping the free edge to get that uh the end of the dip powder as well but since um with the activator i'm not waiting 60 seconds i usually do two to five minutes just to give that dip powder time to harden and so once i do that i do include fouling and buffing in this video as well and so I've given that uh, activator time to harden. I'm using that same file that came in the kit. I'm using the finer side. I have my Melody Susie Dust Collector. And so I'm fouling the sides and then um, just lightly fouling um, the free edge of my nail. Since I just removed my builder gel, I didn't have that much to do. My index finger was a little misshapen. That's just because I had the fiber on there with the excess clear. But I didn't want to over foul the nail. So it's a little lumpy um, on the left side of the nail, but that's okay. And so I'm fouling the side wall lightly and then I'm going to go in with the buffer block that came in the kit and buff the nails and then you'll see me checking for smoothness. And so if I do feel like the cuticle area needs to be cleaned up, I do lightly and I mean lightly because you don't want to tear your cuticles up. Go around the tiny space that's between your skin and the dip powder just to kind of round that out. Here again it's sped up so it looks aggressive but um in real time it is not because you you know tore your skin up bad and so i'm going in with the buffing block that came in the kit and i'm buffing again you see me rubbing the nail checking for smoothness because you want the nails to be smooth the only one that i couldn't get completely smooth it was a little lumpy was my um index finger and that's because of the like i said the uh fiber and the clear that was on the nail and i did not want to over foul i wanted to avoid that like the plague
So I go in with a nail brush and I remove the dust with a brush and it says dry your nails thoroughly. And I was like, dry them with from what? And so it's missing the fact that you need to uh, spray your nails with water or clean them with water and dry them thoroughly. You don't want to use soap at, at this uh, point uh, when you're removing the dust from your nails. And so I sprayed my nails with water. Sorry, I had a hiccup there. And I'm using a paper towel just to dry those off. Um, and again, looks looks decent to me, looks decent. And so I'm going in with activator and applying a layer to all five nails. And then I'm going to use a lint-free towelette that I have to remove any excess activator that um, is that remains on the nail that has not dried yet. The instructions don't tell you to do that. However, I've done this with all the Azure Beauties that I've, uh, videos that I've done and it works and it works. And so I am removing any excess activator as previously mentioned from the nail. And I'm going in with the top gel top. And so just FYI, y'all, I tried some other stuff. I tried some uh, decals, I tried um, some stickers and it didn't work. So I cut all of that video footage out. And that's why the gray nails look, some of them have little white specks on them. And so with the first layer of top gel, you want to apply that in three swipes across the length and the width of the nail. I am wiping the brush off on a paper towel that I have down there before I place it back into the bottle. The instructions say to wait for 60 seconds so that's what I did and after the 60 seconds here I'm going back in with the second coat of top gel and here's where you can be more precise you want to or detailed you want to cap the free edge of your nail and I also capped a little teeny bit of sidewall that's still um, for the length uh, hanging out that helps uh, the longevity of your um, application as well and so I was going to put this uh, rhinestone on my um I was going to secure it with the top gel, but then I was like, it's a pretty big rhinestone. My nails are super short now. Um, it was just not going to stick. And so I was like, mm, nope. Mm -mm. I did apply it off camera, however, with um, some rhinestone glue gel and cured that. And so after your nails have uh, dried down, you want to apply your favorite cuticle oil to rehydrate your skin um, because you just finished beating them up with the application. And so I did have to clean that up just a little bit. I has, it was something on the... The nail and I was like what the heck is that but I got it off and the nail still dried without any problems so guys here is the finished look nails are nice and shiny I did apply that single uh, big old rhinestone to my middle finger so um, guys please like this video if you found value Leave a comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe to my channel. It is absolutely free 99. So thank you to Azure Beauty for sending me this kit to feature on my channel. I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.